Hey guys, so this is my Corsair gaming system. It's what I do all the virtualization on, it's all the testing, etc. etc. Um, I've had it for five years now, it's a beast. Um, i7, loads of power in it, SSD, loads of hard drives, decent graphics, all that kind of stuff. So, this is what we're going to be working on today, fitting the um, H55 Corsair water cooling block to. So, inside, this is how it looks. So as you can see, you've got a nice 850 watt power supply, XFX R9 290X graphics card in there, the i7 overclocked to 5 gigahertz or thereabouts. Obviously, the existing water cooling system, it's it's had its day effectively. We need to change that. There's only one fan included with the new H55 system. What I'm going to do is keep one of these fans in here, use the new fan for the intake, and use the existing to push out, so it's basically an in to out system, push pull system. And we've got 16 gig of RAM, Corsair Vengeance memory as well. That's DDR3 at 1866 megahertz. Okay, we're running an SSD in there, an 850 Pro, two terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte, two terabyte, and two terabyte. Uh, a lot of storage for my YouTube stuff, and obviously virtualization, etc., like that. Massive fan for an intake here, massive fan on the top as well, and uh, that's about it. So let's get cracking with this, let's do the project, get this water cooling system put in place, and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so that's the back of the unit. You can see I used to have SLI set up as well. Nice Republic of Gamers Asus motherboard, and you can see how my cable management is. <laughs> that's probably the worst part, but obviously on the inside it's nice and clean, so that's all that matters. We'll be replacing this part, it's the plate that the uh, water cooling block sticks to. Let's start then by taking out the existing system. Alright, so you can see that the existing water cooling system is now loose, it's held into the board with the four thumb screws that hold it on obviously to the back plate and there's also, I don't know if you can just about see there, hopefully in the video there's actually a power cable for the pump itself that's going to the back of the unit I've traced that back, I've disconnected that already um, just so it's easier to kind of show on video for you guys so let's go ahead and do the thumb screws and take this water cooling system off and four so now the cooling block itself will be loose and you can see that the power cable can come with it. There we go. If we now disconnect the fan from the board. So there it is. That's the existing one. Take that off and replace it with this new Corsair H55. H55, let's do this. All right, so I've cleaned off that processor, and as you can see, hopefully in the camera there, it is a i7 2700K, made in 2009, rated at 3.5 gigahertz, but like I said, it's overclocked, and it produces way more heat, and that's why I water cool it instead. All right, so let's get the new kit out, and we'll get this installed. First of all, we need to get the right chassis plate for this processor and the screw kit as well. All right guys, so I've built this in preparation. You can see this here, I've actually clipped on all the parts that needed to be clipped on uh, for the size of this processor type. And I'll put the little screw things back in. So let's go ahead and do this then. So I've just been following the instructions through, they've actually been really helpful. You can see there, it's actually really self-explanatory on how to do this for the different chipset types. And I'm just going to do this step here now. Let's take this protective plastic off. Ooh, shiny. Okay, so I've just plugged in the other fan that came in the box as well. I'm going to screw that in now. Okay, so let's screw the CPU pump block to the processor itself. These are just thumb screws, so all we need to do is stick the thermal grease there to the processor. 
Some people would recommend changing these straight away, changing this grease over to something else, but in this case, I'm just going to use the stock. And then finally, we'll just connect up the power to the pump. Done. Simple as that. And then just to cable tidy this out of the way, put that down there like so. And that is how you install the Corsa H55 water cooling block system. And there we have it boys and girls, one fully installed Corsair H55. See you on the battlefield. Cheers for watching guys, as always please like and subscribe, share the videos around and I'll catch you next time for some more action.